Hello and welcome to Just Retired. Today we're seeing dinosaurs at the Melbourne Museum featuring this amazing Triceratops. Let's go. Firstly, how do you get there? The Melbourne Museum can be found at 11 Nicholson Street in Carlton. You can take the tram route 86 or 96 to stop 11 on the corner of Gertrude Street. If you're driving, there's plenty of car parking underground. Yep. This is the Melbourne Museum car park. And a helpful tip from my wife Lizzie is to go straight down to the lower level and park towards the Rath Down Street end. That will give you the best chance of finding a free car park. Thanks Lizzie. Tickets are very reasonably priced, with adults paying $15 each and children under 16 are free. There's an extra fee for IMAX or any special events such as the Fantastic Beasts display. There are so many immersive displays to explore, but today we're focusing on the dinosaur exhibit. We're greeted by Inos transevia, which belongs to a group of mammal-like reptiles that curiously led to modern mammals, which includes humans. So, is Inos transevia my great-great-granddad? Then inside, there are 17 replica dinosaur skeletons. Some of them are massive. It is said that they don't display the real bones due to their fragility, and the scientists are still studying them. But the copies are so good, I don't think you can tell the difference anyway. Here are a few of the highlights. This is Tarbosaurus, a close relative of T-Rex. It's hard to believe, but this specimen at Melbourne Museum wasn't even fully grown. Hypsilophodon. This tiny dinosaur had a beak a lot like a parrot does. Mamenchisaurus lived in China and had an 11 meter long neck. Such a long neck is supported by interconnecting spines on each vertebrae. Protoceratops is roughly 2 meters long and apparently could use their tail to propel them while swimming. Also, juvenile protoceratops could comfortably walk standing on their back legs. I'd love to find out how the scientists know about that. Diprotodon, the largest ever marsupial, and I love that it looks just like a giant wombat. You may be interested to know that you can see the statue of a live diprotodon in Just Retired episode 32. I'll link it in the description. Megalania is the largest ever land lizard. It's thought to have preyed upon the poor diprotodon. It's a bit harsh that they've put them so close together here then. Quetzalcoatlus had a 12 metre wingspan and it could fly. I wonder if it's still considered lucky to get hit by the droppings from a Quetzalcoatlus. Amargosaurus. Nobody has the foggiest idea why it had spines on its neck. Maybe for defence. Maybe they supported a skin sail and regulated temperature. Maybe it was a Bluetooth receiver. And now it's time for the highlight of the dinosaur display. After passing through a corridor of floor to ceiling projections that the kids loved, you catch a glimpse of this. One of the most complete Triceratops fossils ever found, affectionately known as Horridus. Horridus is a real fossil, not a replica. It's 67 million years old and was found in Montana, USA. The skull alone weighs a whopping 250 kilograms. So, hey, Mum, what do you think of all those dinosaurs? What an amazing walk in the past, and some of them were real bones too. I was really impressed. Yep, definitely worth a look. Make sure you get there sometime soon. And uh, until next time, take it easy. Look at the size of that dragonfly. That's a big dragonfly.